I'm just going to get straight into this for you guys so we're not wasting any time because new game we want to play it. First things first, this is going to be linked in the video description, Ultimate Engine Tweaks. We're just going to go straight to files and if you have a G-Sync or FreeSync enabled monitor and you have it enabled, you're going to want the bottom one, VRR, variable refresh rate. If you do not have a monitor with either of those enabled, so no variable refresh rate, you're going to want the one that says no variable refresh rate. So I'm going to download the one with no VRR and then it's just going to go to wherever your downloads go. And then the second one, this will also be in the video description. I know it's a GitHub, don't worry about it. You just go straight down here and you click one thing and it's downloaded, okay? Now you already know the deal when it comes to archives, RenRAR or 7-zip, whatever you want to do. I think Microsoft might even have one enabled on Windows now by default. So just extract that. Now this one here, let me just give it a that. DLSS enabler. You may have to right click properties and unblock it here if you, you know, because Windows Defender can throw a bitch fit over that. So you're going to want to double click this, accept the agreement, next, and then install this to whatever path you want this to install to. It's just going to install some files. I've already done that, so I'm not going to do that right now. Actually, I will show you. When you get to this part, just leave it on preferred installation. And this is, of course, obviously only for older NVIDIA cards, so like 10 series, 20 series. I don't know if the 30 series has frame generation enabled uh, natively. If it doesn't, then this is for you guys as well. But AMD, you already have FSR and FSR frame generation in game. This is just for the older NVIDIA cards. Now, once you've got all of that set up and done, you're going to want to go to your documents folder. It will be my documents or documents, whatever. Go to my games, Borderlands 4, saved, config, Windows. And this is the path that it's going to be. This PC, your C drive, if you've got Windows installed on your C drive, users, whatever your user profile is called, documents, my games, Borderlands 4, saved, config, Windows. And you're going to want to go into the folder. This is what we extracted from that Renoir package or whatever. And you see this, you're just going to want to drag and drop that in here. I've already got it right click properties make sure it's on read only next we're going to want to go to where borderlands 4 is actually installed so the best way to do this is just to actually go to steam go to your library right click borderlands 4 manage browse local files go into oak game binaries win 64 and right here you can see there's going to be a bunch of files here that you ain't got that i do so go to wherever you install dlss enabler the path is when you're installing it, it tells you what path it's going to. And you're going to want to drag all of this. I'm just going to right click copy it and paste it all in here. You now have CET installed, the custom engine file. And when you load up Borderlands 4, you should now be able to put DLSS on with frame generation on cards that don't have it enabled by default. OK, so we're loading in. If you change any of your visual settings in game, I also do recommend going to the main menu and then just loading the save again, just so if there are any shaders that need to recompile after changes, it can do so. Some shit just spawned in behind me. All right, so as you can see here, again, I am on a 2070 Super. This generation does not get frame generation enabled whatsoever, but with what everything, everything I've shown you, I can put frame generation on. I'm unbalanced. You can see the FPS in the top right. This is quote unquote frames because these are, you know, fake frames, it's frame gen. And it goes from anywhere I've noticed from like maybe 80 to 110, depending on what's happening in game. And there just happens to be some shit happening behind me, so. Okay, a nice little demo of how it actually holds up in game as well. Again, you know, this is lowest settings with DLSS on its middle profile. You know, <laughs> the game looks a little bit naff when it's so low settings, but you know, you're trying to get this to run at what feels like 
80 to 110 frames depending on where you're going this is what it's going to be like so thanks for watching guys i hope this was informative for you i hope you can get it working if you literally follow everything that i said and did and it's not working for you i'm sorry i cannot help you with that i'm not the pc technician like i used to be when it comes to this this was just a one-shot method for me it's how i figured out how to do it with a dlss enabler and if you follow everything that i said it should work for you uh I hope it does because you know new game borderlands you know great series if you guys have known me for a while you know that i started out on borderlands even though my first video is diablo 3 so thanks for watching guys again hope this was informative and i'll see you in whatever future borderlands 4 video i may make yes goodbye